The buckeye tree is a very common tree in the state of Ohio. There are actually two kinds of buckeyes, yellow and Ohio. Many people are only familiar with the Ohio buckeye. However, the yellow buckeye tree is a much larger tree. It can stand to be almost 90 feet tall, where Ohio buckeye trees are about 60 feet at maturity. The easiest way to tell the difference between the yellow and the Ohio buckeye is to look at the husk covering the seeds. The husk on the yellow buckeye is smooth, and the husk on the Ohio buckeye has spikes on it. The buckeye trees are one of the first trees to leaf out in the spring, and they're also one of the earliest ones to lose their leaves in the fall. Now the buckeye seeds, they fall in late August and through early September, but you have to make sure you beat the squirrels out if you want to collect some seeds for your collection. If you're looking to collect buckeye seeds, the best place to look is along stream banks and in floodplains. Also, they're commonly found in partially shaded areas. The buckeye wood is known for its lightweight, easy to split qualities, which is great for firewood and it was also used historically in baskets. The buckeye tree is one of the trees that has opposite branching patterns, so that all the branches come off exactly opposite from one another. Also, the buds of the buckeye tree are rather large and found at the end of each stem. They also have these large scales on them, so they're very distinctive looking. For those of you interested in growing your own buckeyes from seed, it's best to collect the seeds from the ground, remove the husk, plant in a loose soil, and cover with a layer of mulch. You want to make sure that you plant the seed about three inches deep in the soil. You also want to plant about twice as many as you think you're going to want because the squirrels love these seeds and they will dig them out of your planting bed. The following spring, remove the mulch. Then you're going to want to monitor the amount of rain you get. The tree seedling needs one inch of rain every seven to ten days and then from there you may want to fertilize lightly throughout the season. The buckeye nut is thought to be a good luck charm by many, so carry one in your left pocket to reap the benefits.